thinking of adopting a cane corso mix but want to learn a little bit more about what to expect before welcoming one into your home even though the cane corso appears to be quite intimidating they're in fact very lovable and caring for their family lately the corsos have become very popular family companions their mixes are as well take a look at these top seven cane corso mixed breeds you don't know about number seven labra corso the Labrador Retriever is the most popular dog in America, so it's no surprise that you would find the Lab mixed with the Corso. The resulting dog will likely be quite friendly thanks to their Labrador side, but with the Cane Corso discernment necessary to know when something is amiss. This makes a perfect family dog, both affectionate towards their pack and protective of their home. The Corso parentage makes this mix easy to train. There will be no need to struggle during obedience training or socialization. They will not be as needy as the typical Labrador, but it's still a good idea to spend as much time with them as possible. As both parents are quite athletic, the resulting dog will do best when given high amounts of exercise each day. You could look into swimming, as this mix will likely inherit a knack for swimming from their Labrador parent. Given that the Lab Corso will likely be a very large and active dog, they will best suit families who have larger homes with a fenced-in yard. They require a lot of room in order to stretch their legs and be happy, and will probably be quite sad in a small space. Number 6. Rot Corso Since both the Cane Corso and Rottweiler are working dogs, you can expect that the Rottweiler mix will be happiest when given a job out on the field. These dogs are highly intelligent and obedient and will take wonderfully to training without much extra effort. Socializing them is also very easy, provided that it is done early. This makes this hybrid a great choice for a family dog, especially one based in a more rural area. They are big, intimidating dogs who know when their homes need protecting, but they are tender-hearted and very loving towards their humans and other family members. This mix is better suited to owners who have had prior experience with dogs, as the Rock Corso mix will need special training the soonest possible to help curb bad behavior. They are also highly active dogs who will need a family that can keep up with their exercise needs. We mentioned that this dog would do better in a rural setting, as they are happiest in large spaces. Family homes with more space will do perfectly well with this dog, provided they have a fenced-in yard for bouts of running around on happy sunlit afternoons. Number 5. Dober Corso your Cane Corso and Doberman Pinscher crossbred comes from parents who make great guard dogs. They have a steadfast dedication to their family, so when trained properly from early on, they will do an excellent job at keeping your home safe. This doesn't mean that they are particularly aggressive, though. Their parents are both fairly territorial dogs. As such, this mix must be conditioned to respond appropriately to different situations when their family's safety may be at risk. They are happy spending time with those who share their home and getting affection from them. However, the Dober Corso mix will not be one to whine when left alone. Their independence makes them much less emotionally needy than many dogs, which is good for families who may be too busy to be around them 24-7. Despite this, it's imperative that this dog gets their exercise. They are active, high-energy dogs who will need long daily walks. They will also need more intense playtime activities like playing fetch with a ball or frisbee. Do your best to fit their needs into your schedule and be sure to give them a lot of space to run around and stretch their legs. Number 4. Mass Corso This mix comes from the large Mastiff parents, so you can expect them to turn out just as large. They also have an intense loyalty towards their family, making them good protectors of the home. The difference is that the breeds that make this mix have similar temperaments, with the Mast Corso both being aloof and protective. The result is likely a mellow Mastiff mix, who is slightly smaller than a full-size English Mastiff. Both breeds have a good track record for patience, provided they're so socialize well enough early on. You should have no problems teaching them to play nice with your kids as well as other pets who share the home. This makes them a versatile family companion, as both this mix's parents are somewhat mellow, so it's fairly certain that they will also need a moderate amount of exercise each day. Remember to take them out on regular walks, as well as have designated play times to help them build a healthy routine. Routine is necessary to keep this mix mentally stimulated. This will help keep them engaged and less likely to become destructive. You can curb destructive behaviors by giving them toys, games, and tasks whenever possible.
Number 3. Golden Corso One of the most handsome mixes on this list is the Cane Corso mixed with a Golden Retriever. They usually grow up into very dapper dogs who are wonderfully charming. The Corso side of this mix means that they aren't as happy-go-lucky as ordinary Golden Retrievers. They are still agreeable and friendly though. Their intelligence lends itself well to obedience training and socialization. The Golden Retriever side of this mix really evens out the more aggressive personality of the Corso. This makes the hybrid suitable for many different households, even ones with smaller children and pets. Just be sure that everyone is introduced gradually and safely as you would with all other dogs. The retriever's natural inclination for swimming may be present in this mix. It's always a good idea to try it out when you can. Your dog will be happy to go out with your family on trips to the beach or the lake. With that said, they are active dogs who will require exercise each and every day. Somewhere around 45 to 60 minutes of brisk walking will be sufficient, and doing that twice a day is even better. Be sure to give them a nice big yard where they can run around. It's essential to their happiness. Number 2. Boxer Corso this is another dog on this list who comes from working parents. You may be surprised to know that both the Cane Corso and Boxer were used during wars as messenger dogs, as well as to carry supplies like medicines and ammunition. As such, there is a very serious personality to this Boxer hybrid and they'd be happiest with a job of their own where they can be useful. Giving them the right training and socialization early in their lives is a great way to equip them for work and a more fulfilling life. Outside of work though, these dogs love to play. They are ideal companions for an active family that spends much time outdoors. Having a boxer corso mix will entail you spending a lot of time tending to their exercise needs. They will need to be walked briskly around two times a day, making them a better choice for families who can have a more varied chore rotation. They enjoy high-intensity exercise like running, hiking, and playing fetch. You can maximize their health and happiness by letting them play as hard as they work. They do best in bigger homes that can accommodate their size and energy. Number 1. Canoodle Another very smart hybrid on this list comes from the Poodle and the Cane Corso. Their intelligence makes them a bit more show-offish than the other hybrids on this list, but they're also quite obedient and eager to please. Expect this mix to absolutely ooze charm. The otherwise stoic Corso gets their personality hugely amped up by the playful and outgoing Poodle. This doesn't mean that they're going to have a particularly sunny disposition. It will just likely make them agreeable pets who fit in nicely in many different family setups. Training and socialization are a breeze given their smarts, so just be sure to be firm and teach them well to fully take advantage of their natural ability. You will absolutely need to take your canoodle mix out of the house for walks, playtime, and romps at the park. This isn't just for their physical well-being, but for their mental wellness too. Being highly intelligent means being very prone to boredom, which could mean you saying goodbye to your prized flower bed, coffee table, magazines, and favorite pairs of shoes. Plenty of toys, games, and activities will help in curbing boredom and frustration, keeping both you and your furry friend as happy as can be. Which mixed breed is your favorite among them? Please subscribe to the amazing dogs. Thanks for watching.